you're recording law from a secret location. Okay, okay, okay. What the fuck's good, everybody? <laughs> All right, we get into some things today. So listen, if you're a returning subscriber, then you know how this shit goes. Some shit might shut down, some shit might cut off, but at the end of the day, we will get through the show. Um, if you're new and you just popped onto this uh, video, hopefully by the end of this video, you will consider um, subscribing. All right, all right, all right. Oh. Now, I'm not really sure if you guys know who this is, because we haven't really talked about her ever here on the show. Um, she's not that popular, but she's popular enough just because she's always in some bullshit. So Tommy from Love and Hip Hop, um, just stupid, just stupid, stupid, stupid. Um, I'm not, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what the reason was, nor do I care. Um, but according to this article eh, um, that I found, let me just read it to you. Cast member from Love and Hip Hop from VH1's Love and Hip Hop Atlanta has been indicted on multiple child abuse charges stemming from a dramatic incident at her child's middle school in October, according to multiple reports. Tommy Lee, whose real name is, hold on, because I got to really sound this out, Atasha Shiza Jefferson. Ooh, that was some ghetto shit. Um, was reportedly indicted Thursday in Cobb County, Georgia on seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven charges, including child cruelty, aggravated assault, battery, aggravated stalking, and disrupting a public school. Three of the charges are felonies. In total, the love and hip hop former star could be face is facing or could be facing up to 54 years behind bars. Damn, she's stupid. Stupid. Tommy, you're trash. Okay, so according to multiple according to multiple uh, multiple reports, Lee was arrested after an incident um, in which she allegedly burst into her child's school, grabbed one of her children by the hair, and shoved their head into a metal locker. In addition to swearing and yelling at the child, it's reported that she slapped her, the child and whipped them with a purse strap. According to, the, according to the people, Lee was arrested but quickly posted the uh, $27,000 bond, However, she was arrested again only 48, out, 48 hours for violating a court order to stay away from her child. After leaving the jailhouse, um, she went to Smyrna, Georgia. Oh, I used to live in Smyrna. Shout out to Smyrna. Um, she went to her Smyrna, Georgia house um, where the child was located. And she refused to come out and eventually found in the attic where she was arrested. Wow. So let me get this straight, okay? Bitch, you go to your child's job and beat her ass, throw her in a metal detector, I mean, in a metal locker, disrupt in the middle of school. Did you think you was on Love and Hip Hop? Did you think your daughter was Jocelyn Hernandez? What the fuck are you doing, bitch? Y'all be letting this Instagram and y'all be letting all this rah rah shit, like all this, like I'm a bad bitch, I'ma talk my shit, I'ma do all, you know, y'all be letting all that get the fuck to your head. So now you doing that shit out to your daughter in school? <laughs> bitch, y'all all fucked up. Your whole family fucked up. And then you go, you post the bond, then you go to your daughter house, to the house where your daughter is at, um, and then the police are there, and you go hide in the attic and get arrested? Okay. 
Yeah, Tommy is stupid. Tommy is one of those people who, who have a lot of potential to be great. I mean, fashion, personality, talent, um, but just fucking stupid. It's never going to happen. She's too stupid, and she's gonna she's going to spend the rest of her life in and out of jail. Um, many would blame her mother. I would blame her mom because her mom is trash too. But at some point, you have to decide, okay, listen, my mom used to be trash. I've been given an opportunity to have a better life. Am I going to continue to be trash? You've been on TV. You were, you, you were, you had, you, you, do you realize, bitch, you were sitting in Milan with Rihanna? You know, you, you were with high fashion models and you were next level. You were Vogue and, and, and international. And now you back in and out of jail. How you go from, jail to love and hip-hop to international high fashion rihanna to beating your daughter ass in school and hiding in attics in smyrna georgia going back to jail facing up to 54 years damn you a stupid bitch what the fuck what the fuck damn like how does that happen like what kind of dope was you on that you just felt the need, like what, I wanna know what your daughter did to you that bad where you needed to go to the school, pull her out to school, beat her ass, throw her into a metal locker, and then drag her by her hair out of the school. That's very embarrassing. Stop that drinking, but you know what, it's too late. It's, it's too late for all that. Lock her ass up. Lock her ass up, she's stupid. She's gonna do something else. Tommy needs to go to jail. Tommy needs to go to jail. Tommy needs to go to jail. Lock her ass up. Throw away the key. She's trash. She's never gonna get it. This is coming. From, this is a lady. This is a lady who has had several opportunities to make a difference in her life, and she refuses to do so. She's good for a few months, and then she does some stupid shit. Like, get rid of. Her. I don't care what your child did. There's no. There's no way that you should have done that. You, if anything, you should have waited till she got home and whipped her ass. You don't fucking beat her like a bitch on the street. Tom needs to be thrown away for life. I don't care. Get her the fuck out of here. She's garbage. She's garbage. She's garbage. I, I, I just feel like, you know, I was rooting for her for so long because, you know, she was very fashionable. She was sexy, you know, and she had a good personality and she was talented with the music. But if she, if she doesn't give a fuck, why should we? Why should we? But I blame Instagram, I blame these reality shows because a lot of people, a lot of these people, con especially these badasses, a lot of these badasses feel like they're in a walking reality show in their real life. And that's not the case. You niggas will go to jail. You niggas will go to jail. You niggas will go to jail. Like none of you niggas are above the law. And you niggas will die. Like these niggas be out here, even you, they be out here playing like they in a reality show. Like just like a scripted, like, you know, like security gonna run and stop the shit. No. Shit gets real. Instagram likes, verification check marks, agents, PR, management. They can't save you against the police. Bitch. What a dumbass. I say throw her away. She's worthless. She doesn't do anything anyway. She's just a nuisance online. She doesn't provide anything. She's just a bad example for uh, for women out there. Uh, she's one of those girls that will uh, push the for push the culture backward. Honestly, I feel like she's a monster, and none of these girls need to be looking up to her. So she needs to be behind bars. Throw her away. I, I for what if. Tell me one reason why you think that Tommy needs to be out of jail. What is she contributing to society? Her family's all fucked up. The mom, the mom, her, her sister, they call each other bitches and hoes and they fight on TV. Now it's, it's trend. Now it's went from, it's went, it's literally, they need to go to church. 
You bitches really need to go to church, the whole family, because it didn't got from you and your mom calling each other bitches and hoes, and now you calling your daughter bitches and hoes. This is a generational curse that we do not need to publicize on TV. We need to, you, they really need some genuine help because this family is really, really broken. And they have a lot of issues. And unfortunately, this is how a lot of black families are. Mm-hmm. This is how a lot of African-American families are in the world. You know, somebody right now is fighting their mom or somebody's mom right now is calling their daughter a bitch and a hoe right now. That's unfortunate. But, you know, you can't save the world. So just save yourself. That's how I feel. Fuck it. She want to be stupid. Like, I don't feel bad for her because, bitch, you've had opportunities to escape and better yourself. You, you've gotten money, you've had TV deals, you've had fashion deals, and you fucking blow it. Get out of here. Throw her away. Next motherfucking case, this bitch is trash. Lock that bitch up. Until next time, you are. I have nothing else to say about her. Get her out of here. Tommy, you're trash. Go to jail. Oh, and she won't be on the se next season of Love and Hip Hop, but she doesn't need to be. All right, y'all. I'm loving this. Hopefully you guys subscribe, and I'll see you soon. We are recording live from a secret location.